face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up guys and of course as always welcome back to another episode of who was really better and this week we're looking upon what i would say would be the only physical electric types in the whole game both being introduced in generation 4 being Luxray versus Electivire. While a physical electric type has been used in previous generation and actually later generation, nobody has been as vocal as these two Pokemon are. While I would say the Thunders and the Tabakoku are Pokemon in later generation that has been introduced to that kind of concept, they still have been heavily relying on being a special set anyway due to the concept itself and electric type being very very heavily specially more oriented. These two are the exception though, they're heavy heavy physical hitters and have physical moves to talk about with that in mind. So it helps to me of course going over their stats, ability, move pool and overall, well, skills I would say to see which one of these two are really better. So first and foremost, let's go over their typing. They're both actually soul electric typing, which means that they resist electric, flying, steel, and are weak to ground. While on the upside, they aren't necessarily weak to that many things. Ground is a very, very, very little weaknesses, in honesty. The only thing kind of separate say the resistances aren't necessarily the most viable one. Um, electric, steel, and flying, while could be semi-common, is still at the same time not as desirable this is definitely a complementation for being included with a secondary type such as water to be able to of course re remedy themselves of electric weaknesses and stuff like that in general electric typing make for a very very good dual combination typing with assault typing kind of lack lustering electric type as it his own stab is not too impressive, um, but with that said, these Pokemon have other things up their sleeve and definitely a bigger move pool to be able to remedy their possible issues. So with that in mind, Electric Type is a Soul Typing, not a bad typing, but at the same time not as impressive either. So with their typing out of the way, one really has to start talking about their actually stats. And they are very similar, while well, a few differences here, there really aren't that many things between them. And because the HP, they do have kind of the same HP at 75 versus 80, not a whole lot between them. Uh, Electivar being slightly stronger at 123 versus 120, then Luxor being more defensive with 79 versus 67. The special attack are tied at 95. Special defense here is what Electivar does shine a little bit more, 85 versus 79, but then again, not really a whole lot. And then because of the speed here, Electivar is arguably faster here, 95 versus 70. So the quick random between that would be that Luxray is defensively more capable than Electivar, but the Electivar most certainly are more offensively scarier due to the extra speed in mind but they're both actually fairly slow electric types consider of course what electric type really are well famous for so with that in mind they're both kind of slow electivar being clearly though faster but then we get to one of the more interesting aspects of these two and then be actually their abilities uh, electivar has two abilities uh, vital spirit which isn't that interesting by its own while it does give immunity to sleep and sports and stuff like that it should be stated that it's not the best kind of unconventional in contrast to motor drive motor drive boosts your speed by one if you're hit by electric type and also gives you immunity to electric completely uh, what makes this really good is that means electivar can remedy its possible issue here with of course the speed tier being kind of low uh, one motor drive really pushed the abhorrence of this Pokemon you really can do and it's just overall a very very usable ability towards it um Luxor, on the other hand had actually three abilities while well, two being interesting, one being kind of like Luster, and the one being there is Rivalry. Rivalry boosts your uh, attack by 25%, or especially by 25% if you have the same sex. If not, then it actually makes you weaker. So, not as interesting, but other ones definitely are. Intimidate lowers your opponent's uh, attack set by one. Uh, and since Luxury had already showcased that it is bulkier, being able to utilize capitalize on actually Intimidate is a very, very good ability as its own, because it does mean it can physically check Pokemon, which is something very, very rare for Electric type to be able to do, and which makes Luxury one of the few that are able to do just so. And then we have Guts. Guts, a very, very good ability. Of course, now in even this generation being generation 7 with the, of course, burn nerf, Guts is even stronger. Being able to le learn actually or boost your attack as a bandit damage rate of 50% extra damage output, which means that moves like facade and superpower all of a sudden gets very, very scary. And counter with the wild charge, it makes Luxury a very, very scary physical threat. So it's up to whether or not you want to use its physical side or its defensive side in battle. But as a whole, I would say Luxray has the luxury 
of being more sets than just one while Electivara is forced to kind of run more offensively oriented. It never ever is a bulky Pokemon will like to actually solve that issue. But at the same time, it does Luxury is clearly slower, which means it doesn't mean that it threatened too many Pokemon on its own. But in the right conditions, Luxury can be just as scary, if not scarier, due to guts than Electivara ever could be. But as you guys always know, of course, a Pokemon is only as good as its move pool makes it out to be. So with that in mind, we're gonna go over their shared move pool, but also what separates them. Because quite honestly, by these descriptions alone, it actually is really close. I wouldn't necessarily say that anyone is better than the other, but we are gonna find out why the other one sticks out more than the other. But first of all, let's go over what they do share. So a quick rundown of what they do share is on this, their stamp side being electric, of course, they both get Thunderbolt, Thunder. Volt Switch and uh, Wild Charge. Wild Charge being the primary physical stab here, since it is the strongest physical stab on Electric side that is available for the others. While these two both desperately need Volt Tackle or Fusion Bolt, Wild Charge is the move of choice. Uh, outside of that, they do get the likes of Iron Tail. But other than that, that's actually pretty much what they do share. They have a few nifty moves they do share that I don't see as viable, such as Flash, if you want to capitalize on that do not do that but they could pull that off but outside of that, that is actually what the only thing they do share siren tail and of course electric stabs in general so with that said we're going to actually go over luxury first and then talk about electivire now luxury has one thing standing out over electivire that really really stands out and that is it does get access to superpower being one of the more primary moves really since it is a very very strong hit towards the possible combination of steel and ground types which really does deal with them fairly well. Outside of that, it does get actually access to airy impulse, which is a move that actually lowers the special attack of an opponent. We also have fake tears, we have double kick, and we have all the fang moves, ice fang, fire fang, and thunder fang. I'm gonna capitalize on that over the wild charge. We also have snarl to lower opponent's special attack, which is actually kind of kind of just in this environment. And outside of that, we have crunch and of course a facade and whatnot. But as a whole, Luxray doesn't learn a whole lot of things, but at the same time, the things it learns are pretty darn scary and definitely more focused towards capitalizing on his special move pool with the likes of Volt switching around, but we also have the accessibility of having moves that lowers opponent's physical proudness, making Toxic Stall Luxrate actually fairly viable. Together with the likes of Magnet Rise, it actually can pull that off really nicely, but we also have something that complements the Guts. The Guts set together with Facade, Superpower, Crunch, and Wild Charge is a very dangerous combination. And of course, you can capitalize on Ice Fang if you really want to damage up towards ground type. But as a whole, Luxray's move pool might be shallow, but it sure as hell is one of the more relevant ones here. So with that said, we clearly have the Sabertooth Cat left. Now, Electivire might actually be, much like the Nido Kings, one of the few Pokemon here that does get a really, really interesting move pool. It's very large and it just all of it seems very, very very relevant. I should be saying here that both of them actually learns Quick Attack, and I actually missed out on that here, but it's definitely worth mentioning. Outside of that, the niche move pool on Electivar is the likes of Earthquake, first of all, a physical ground hit, making it able to deal with other electric types flawlessly. And a good bit of motor drive, yeah, this is a very dangerous combination. We also have filler moves in Brick Break, we have Psychic, we have Flamethrower, Rock Tomb, uh, low kick, if you want to capitalize on that. We have Karate Shop, Rolling Kick, we have the Elemental Punches in Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and of course Thunder Punch, want to capitalize on that, or Wild Shard, which could be very just, very just indeed. Outside of that, we have a Field Moves in Dual Chop, we have also here really not fun, something that I think is very, very funny. We have Power Up Punch, which might not sound like too big of a deal, but the thing is here, none of them really can set up so being able to have something to boost your attack, yeah, Power Up Punch really shines there for Lectivar, being able to, with Motor Drive and of course Power Up Punch, even push the physical prowess of this Pokemon, making it a very, very clear indication that this is a very viable sweeper. And together with the likes of actually uh, the Flamethrower Psyche, it is able to deal with possible defensive shake towards it, being able to hit on the one that's actually special defensive side, making Electavari a tremendous wall breaker and a very good mix sweeper overall. So with the move pools run down, it basically comes down to whether Electavar's move pool is more to try and over Luxray's defensive prowess, and yeah, it's, it's debatable whether or not I would say so. 
I definitely think that the defensive side of Luxray is very, very underrated, and it should definitely complement that this is something that Luxray actually does fairly well. Though it is one flaw with that idea, and that is that electric type as a whole is not a very good defensive typing, making it a bit of it lackluster. And even at that, Luxray still have gut set, but it doesn't get the extra power from the move side. It is very one dimensional on the gut set, and even with the Fang side mentioned, of course, um, they're still weaker than the elemental punches, making Electivari even here more desirable. And with one power up punch, it is able to do the same amount of damage as Luxray. And it has the flexibility to pull that off even more often. And even that, Electavari just as a whole, since it is more unpredictable, in my honest opinion, are by default stronger between these two. The funny part is, though, that even if I say that Electavari is by default, well, stronger, I still think they're on par with one another. I do believe Game Freak definitely screwed his Pokemon over, and they've actually neglecting physical Electrotype as a whole concept for quite some time. I really, really want to see this typing uh, or this concept of the typing revisited and done right. Uh, you know, unlock Fusion Bolt, I unlock Vault Tackle. I don't believe these Pokemon have enough bulk to pull off a Vault Tackle, but something needs to be done. While I would say that, you know, the Lolem, Golem's ability to boost such a pixel ape, but I do really call it Electrify or stuff like that, uh, would help them as a mega possible evolution, I still believe that we need a physical electric type move that actually does the damage. I've been talking about this for years. Um, electric physical attack are just not that interesting and making the concept of physical electric type really, really unjust and very, very boring as a concept. These two are the only ones to showcase for it, and they're quite honestly known to be one of the worst electric types in the game. They're pretty darn dangerous though, they still hurt quite a lot, and they have a hard Pokemon to sleep on because they do have this heavy amount of damage towards anything they do face. But yeah, people tend to forget about them, and when they face one, they don't know how hard they hit, and they hit hard. Um, Luxury, definitely, the gut set is definitely more interesting this generation. While Electivara, due to its move pool, in my opinion, are better, I still think they're both tremendous Pokemon, and they definitely need a, a proper buff. I do believe that would resolve any issue they do have. Uh, so that's it guys, as always, thank you for watching, and do share what you guys think about these two Pokemon, and no, don't forget to use them, because they're both very, very fine indeed. So with that said, as always, thank you for, as I said, watching, and we'll see you next week with these monsters.